You are tuning in to TK's Two Cents, and today we're going to talk about rewriting your story and making the time count. Let's dive right in with the first tweet. In order to let go of the things that hold you back, you have to rewrite the story that binds you to them. Change is one of the most inevitable basic facts of life. Sometimes we are called to move from one neighborhood to another, to end a relationship with someone, to leave one job for another opportunity, to grow up, to go on. And change often seems to be very difficult because circumstances have a way of making unique demands on us all. But the hard part about change is not located in the circumstances. It's located in the stories that we tell ourselves about those circumstances. Now, that doesn't mean that circumstances don't come along with difficulty. That doesn't mean that you can just make everything uh, simple or easy by changing the story. But it does mean that you can significantly alter your relationship to any situation by tinkering with the story you are telling yourself about that situation. But in order to do that, you've got to first recognize that this is what's going on. Back in my theater days, they talked about a concept called the inner monologue. And the director would encourage us to not just read the scripts and focus on the lines that our character needs to say, but to focus on the inner monologue from which those words spring forth. What is the story that this character is telling themselves that's causing them to say those lines in a particular way? Well, what's the story you're telling yourself about the things that are happening in your life? Perhaps it's a story like, I would be nothing without that opportunity. Perhaps it's a story like, well, that person is the best that I can ever do as far as being in a good relationship goes. Or I will never get an opportunity like that. Or I can't handle change. I can't handle risk. I'm just not the type of person to say no to that sort of thing. I'm just not the type of person to say yes to that sort of thing. I really would like to do that, but I'm not the type of person to stand up for myself. Have you allowed the possibilities of your life to be boxed in by a story that you are telling based on habit rather than deliberate intention? You ever heard somebody say, hey, loosen up, loosen up? Well, there's more to loosening up than just making adjustments in your posture, than just making adjustments in your body. You're limited in how much you can loosen up in that way. When people say loosen up, they also mean loosen your grip on whatever story it is you've got going on that's attaching you to a certain outcome. Loosen up, lighten up, make some room for the possibilities that exist inside your story. Maybe you're better at this than you thought and you just need a little experience to discover it. Maybe there are better options for you out there and you just need a little time and a little risk taking in order to discover them. Maybe the situation you're going into is going to unlock new possibilities in your life that are going to make you look back on the old stuff and say, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that this changed happened in my life. You never know. But no matter what you're going through, no matter what situation you are dealing with, understand that there is a story component. And it's until you recognize that story, until you take ownership of that story, until you realize that you have options for how you tell that story, you don't have power. The root of personal power is the recognition that there is no such thing as an experience without an accompanying story that you have the power to narrate. Why not narrate in a direction that takes you where you want to be? Why not narrate in a way that is healthy, in a way that is nourishing, in a way that increases your agency and autonomy? You get to decide, write the story in a way that makes you the hero, not the loser. I mean, somebody, somebody else can do that for the story that they're writing. They can make you whatever character they wanna be in their own story, but don't do that to yourself with the story that you're writing for yourself. All right, let's go to tweet number two. Time is not the force that moves our lives forward. Time is the force that holds us accountable for our choices. When it comes to progress, when it comes to areas of your life that you would like to improve, 
There is no magical property inherent in time that is going to perform some transformative work on you and your life. Even when it seems that time has healed you, all you need is time. I know you're heartbroken, but all you need is time. Even when it seems like time is what healed you or time is what matured you or time is what bestowed wisdom upon you, it wasn't really time. It was experience. There was something that came along with time. There was something that time set the stage for. It was interaction with the different people, moments of contemplation, moments where even though you didn't know what was going to happen next, or even though you didn't really feel your best, you had to make decisions to put one foot in front of the other. You had to make decisions to make little choices and big choices. All of those things coming together are what made you wiser and more experienced, more mature and more whole. It's not time. If there's something in our lives that needs to change, we're never going to get there by sitting back and waiting on time to perform this mystical function of actualizing all of our possibilities in life. The only way that we move forward is by making the decision to face our demons and fight. By making the decisions to be honest with ourselves about what's not working and choosing to deal with that even though it feels uncomfortable in the moment even though it feels painful in the moment because we know there's something else on the other side called change and that change doesn't happen unless we choose it. The world around us changes with time and there is a sense in which our lives change with time. We get older, our appearance changes, certain abilities might decline, but ultimately, if you want something to move forward besides your age, Besides your physical appearance, if you want something to get better, don't wait on time. Depend on your choice. I often say dreams don't come true. Decisions do. And every single one of us is going to have to be accountable to time. Every one of us has moments in life where time comes knocking on our door saying, hey, that window of opportunity has closed. That moment has passed forever. What did you choose to do with the opportunity that was set before you? And ultimately, every single one of us will have time knocking on our door one final time saying the opportunity for life itself is over. And when that day comes, I hope you look back and I hope you feel grateful for the choices that you made. I hope you are able to look in the mirror or look at time in the face and say, I didn't wait on you. I didn't wait on you. I, I chose I chose to bring forth what was best in me by the power of decision. I didn't wait on you. And now that you are here, now that the window of opportunity is closed, I can walk away. I can leave this behind knowing that I created my life intentionally. I hope you get to say that one day. Those are TK's two cents on rewriting your story and making the time count. If you're listening on the podcast, please subscribe. Please leave a comment. If you're listening on YouTube, Hit the like button and the subscribe button. Please comment letting me know your additional thoughts or any questions you have or anything you'd like to hear me dis discuss. And don't hesitate to share this with a family member, a friend, or anyone else that you think might benefit from these riffs. Thank you so much for tuning in. Keep creating freedom everywhere, anywhere, in every way that you can. Peace.